This is the tutorial on ticket exchanges. We have an itinerary here with two passengers and they need to be on a later flight flying out of San Francisco airport on the same day. So we're going to do an availability search and we're going to put them on this 1 p.m. flight. So we're going to sell that space and we're going to do a WPNCB so that we can get the lowest fare for that flight. Keep in mind that you have to segment select since you now have multiple segments in this record. So the price of this new flight is $9.41. So we're going to store that fare and we're going to take a look at what the original ticket priced at. So you do display T to pull up the existing ticket numbers. And here we have the ticket number, the name of the passenger, the agent who issued it, the time and the date that it was issued. So we're going to pull up the ticket details for passenger 1, which is that first ticket you see there. To do that, you do WETR, display, and the line number. Now keep in mind, because you have two passengers in this record, you're going to have to do two exchanges, one for each passenger. So you can see that the original ticket was $240. So we're going to start our ticket exchange, and we're going to go up to the line with the ticket number, and we're going to enter WFRF, the ticket number, Cross of Lorraine, and then you have to name select, so N1.1, and you also have to segment select, since you have multiple segments in this record. And the reason why you're doing S2 is because that's the new flight that you've grabbed, so you want to make sure that you're exchanging the original ticket for the new flight. So this is the WFRF mask. It shows you here what the original ticket cost, so we have the base fare, the taxes, and the total, and then the same thing for the new ticket. And then over here it calculates the difference for you. This is the simplest type of exchange where Sabre does all of the calculations for you. It tells you what the additional amount is. It tells you what the change fee is. There are instances where you'll have to go back to the original ticket to find out what the change fee is, in which case you just manually put it in. So since everything has been calculated for us, all you have to do is hit next. So you can either click on it or you can just tab down and you're going to put X in that field and hit enter. Then it takes you to the page where it talks about commission. This ticket was not a commissionable ticket and neither is the new ticket. So you're just going to put 0, 0.00 in both of those fields. So the new ticket full commission amount and the ad collect commission amount. If there was commission to be taken, you would have to manually calculate what that ad collect is. So you can either tab down to where it says retain or you can double click on it and hit X and enter. So here it says transaction retained, which means that it has now stored that exchange for you. Now to pull that up, you enter display PQS, which is price quote summary. And here it shows you all of the stored fares that you've had. And down here it has your PQR. So now you have to enter the FP line, just as you would if you were issuing a ticket from scratch. Except now you're linking it to a ticket exchange. So you do FP, PQR, and 4 which corresponds to this number here. And here we have our FP line. At this point, if your client definitely wants this updated flight and they've agreed to the price, then you would take out the original segment and you would also end and retrieve. And at that point, you could enter W cross and reissue that ticket. Now to do a refund, it's a very similar process. Instead of doing WFRF, you do WFRR for refund. And as you can see here, it pulls up a very similar mask. And you pretty much go through the same steps as an exchange, except in this case, you're doing a refund. Here's where you would enter the cancellation penalty, if there is one. So let's say that this ticket was refundable minus $125 penalty. I'm going to manually enter it here. And then you go down to the next field, put an X in there, and hit Enter. And what it does is it then calculates what the refund amount would be minus the penalty. So we hit X again, and as you can see, the refund would be $115 if you're minusing the penalty from the original ticket. Here it takes us to the commission page. There was no commission on the original ticket, so there's going to be no penalty on the commission. So you're going to go down to refund and hit X. And when you hit X, it is actually going to refund that ticket unlike an exchange where you put in an FP line first to process the exchange, once you hit X here, it is going to refund that ticket. 